Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, there were some feathers ruffled last night in the Twitch streamer political sphere and the Twitter political sphere between two people and debates. There's a lady, Riley Rashong, who I don't know all the, you know, total details of all this. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't care. But from what I've read, it seems like her and a Twitch streamer, Demon Mama, they had a debate a while ago. And apparently since then, there's been, you know, they've gone back and forth. This Riley lady apparently, you know, wanted to do another debate about whatever it was again i am be honest with you i don't know enough about it and i really don't care about the exacts of it so anyway they finally agreed to it or at least you know through riley kept going on and asking dean mama's like all right sure come on my stream and right when she gets on there immediately mutes this riley lady and says all right well if you want to debate you need to send me three hundred dollars and then we can debate so that's what this video is going to be about really this idea about paying to debate and is that good and you know how do i feel about that honestly i mean i get it with i mean prior to like this always on the internet era you know if you're going to debate somebody if you challenge somebody to meet you for debate then yeah, I could see compensating them for like, if they have to travel, you know, room and board, things like that, you are asking them to come on to speak with you, you know? And then even if it was the other way around, if you challenge someone else, yeah, I'd say it would be on the challenger to, you know, be able to handle any sort of financial aspects of that. You know, if there's a, if that person has some sort of speaking fee, sure, you know, you're the challenger. You, you ask for that, so you should kind of, you should pay if they ask for it. The only thing I think is really weird about it is when you agree to have a debate, and then when they finally get there, you tell them you need to, they need to pay you. And then especially because it's, all in an online setting. You're not being put out to talk to these people. It's not like you have to go somewhere to do it. You're you're in your same office, you know, where you do your normal streams, as you do your debate streams. It's not like you would have had to, you know, travel out of state, you know, go, you know, you don't have to do that in this modern debate era. You can just press record or start streaming, whatever, connect up with somebody, and that's all you have to do. So, do I think the $300 is too steep to pay? Eh, not really. Um, I mean, and from someone like me, you know, like, I'm not, obviously, I'm nobody big in the political sphere, even online. So if I were to challenge somebody or say I wanted to debate with somebody on their on their show, I would be I would understand if they said I needed to pay them a fee just because, yeah, I'm like brand new to this. So you're kind of taking a risk putting me on anyway, because you don't know you don't know what I could do. You know, you, you, there's no like precedent for what to expect. And I could even see that as like a form of insurance if you know what to expect out of a person. If you know that someone is, you know, rude, you know, crass, they they might, you know, go off, then yeah, I could see having that as sort of like a security deposit sort of where you could just, yeah, this is, this is so you know that like basically you paid for this. So if you do something stupid and we have to kick you off, you paid for it. You paid to do that. 
I think having that sort of financial incentive too, like if you're the one who's paying to go onto a program, you might be more willing to kind of be level-headed, I guess, not to just throw insults out like crazy because you know that it's not just a waste of time for you at that point. It's also would have been a waste of money. So yeah, I can get, I can get why people would charge to debate. Sure. But if you tell somebody to meet you for debate and then the moment they come on, you're like, no, no, now you got to pay me. I'm sorry, but that's, that's just a piece of shit move. And I've saw plenty of people who were like, oh yeah, that was all just her playing around. That was just an elaborate troll, this and that. Of course, she's not going to talk to Riley, whatever. And it's, don't be childish. Like, we're all adults. If you, if you don't want to talk to somebody, you don't have to. You can just say no. You can just hit that block button and just push them out of your mind. You aren't entitled or you're not obligated to debate with anybody. You don't have to do that. So just don't. If someone's bothering you that much and just just block them. Just just push it out of your mind. And by you know, and if they're insulting you, if they're like taking things a little bit too far other than just being a general nuisance, you know, there's there I'm sure that you can find workarounds for everything, sure, but if someone's bothering you that much that you feel like you have to embarrass them, let it go. Let it go. We're all adults. This is childish. This is childish. Just block people and move on.